Good morning, everybody. Good morning, grandmas. In today's video, we're going to learn how to repair a down jacket. Really, you could use this for any jacket that is uh, made out of synthetic materials that might kind of be like the nylon outer on a down jacket. Specifically, these two that we're gonna work on are down jackets. And it's also something you could use on like a tent or a piece of gear or a backpack if it has a rip in it. Rather than throwing your gear away or buying a new one, you can repair it. Think of it as a badge of honor. Jacket number one is a Columbia titanium. As you can see right there, it's got a nice cut on the sleeve. This is very narrow baffling with adhesive seams. It's not sewn. We're going to attack this from the top. And I also have this beautiful North Face Nupsy. If you can see right there, it's got some damage to the sleeve. We're going to attack this one from the inside. Hope you guys enjoy the video. If you haven't already, please give it a thumbs up and let's get into the repair. The things you're going to need for this repair is your down jacket. With the damages, you're going to need a pair of scissors and you're going to need beautiful tenacious tape. I got this off of Amazon for $5. I will put a link to it in the description below. It is good to keep on hand for any types of repairs as it says in there, tents, jackets, gear. And this is the clear version, so you could use it on any colors. I recommend the clear version so you don't have to try to color match any products. It's just peel and stick. We're gonna open it up, cut it out, show you guys how to do it. As you can see, we don't have a whole lot of space to work with to get a patch on the inside. It would be only about a quarter of an inch adhesion there. And uh, I wanna get a little bit more, but you wanna make sure all that down is kind of stuck in there. For five bucks, this is a lot of repairs. Oh yeah, and you are gonna need a marker or a pen if you're going to trace it out. You could also kind of just estimate, just to show for this video, we're going to trace it out. I'm gonna place the patch over the damage with about a half an inch to an inch around it because you wanna have really, really good adhesion and the more surface area that you touch, the better adhesion you're gonna get. And I'm just going to trace a nice, circular or an oval patch over that. The reason you wanna cut into a round patch is because it doesn't give the repair any sharp corners to snag on because if it was just a square or a triangle, it'd be a lot easier in the wash or if it were to rub up against something to snag a corner rather than smooth surface. Highly recommend that you create your patch in a circle. The graft area is going to be the adhesive side. I'm going to peel that off just like that. And because this jacket is already so clean, did not rub it down with rubbing alcohol. We will be doing that on the next jacket. Get all those feathers in. We're going to go straight on top and just press that patch down into the jacket. If it's not perfect, don't worry about it. This is a badge of honor. This is more about function rather than fashion. Hey, I was traipsing around in the woods. I got caught on a thorn. I was using this jacket as it was intended. Point is that it's no longer going to bleed out. It's no longer going to, it's not going to make the rip bigger. And this jacket is perfectly wearable. And unless you point it out the exact point of where it is, most likely, depending on the size, people are not going to notice, especially from afar. This is our second jacket, the North Face Nupsy. This is a larger baffle. This is about five inches. Our hole is a lot smaller, so we're going to poke. For this job, you're going to need a pair of tweezers in order to get it done. We're going to be fishing the patch on the inside in and sticking it to the inside surface rather than the top surface. And that creates the patch from the inside so you don't see it on the outside. It's a little bit easier to do on this jacket than it was on the other one because of the space constraints and the size of the baffling. So your mileage may vary on what you wanna do. Uh, we're gonna take the patch that we had just cut out and cut out another little circle. I'm not even gonna measure this one, it should be good. And of course, these ones you don't wanna to be too large because as you're gonna see, we're gonna be fishing it inside and trying to get it to stick correctly. 
Uh, this is a little bit more difficult to do, but if it's done correctly, you can uh, really make that patch look good. I'm going to try to place it in the hole and then put a little bit of pressure on it on that side and then pull the other side kind of like that. You're gonna to try to line up the seams as best as possible. You're going to press down on it, make sure everything is nice and stuck. And as you can see, we tried our best to uh, line up all the seams. You can see the patch underneath it. And then once that's done, we can trim a little bit of the stragglers, maybe clean up the patch a little bit. And there we are, a patched Nupsy jacket. Feel free to like slightly tug on it to see if it's nice and stuck if you need to redo the patch. You could even put a patch over that if you wanted to, but like I said, this is more for function rather than fashion to keep those down feathers from getting bled out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something about fixing down jackets or just fixing uh, technical gear, nylon-ish materials in general. The most eco-friendly option is to continue using your gear or to repair some gear that maybe you picked up on the cheap. Less carbon, less manufacturing and shipping. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.